Hope you're doing well on this brisk morning. And there's a YouTuber named Tony Black NYC, who is actually a uh, pretty iconic music producer. He worked on some pretty iconic uh, albums from the 90s that everybody's heard a million times and loves and respects. And <clears throat> he's uh, started a YouTube channel if you're into if you're into music, music production, I encourage you to go follow him. You know, he's only got like 10,000 subscribers. But what's interesting is uh, you know, the things he says about music production you know, pretty much fly in the face of what 90% of content creators are saying. You know, people with massive followings. But it's interesting because, you know, he's actually got a lot of stripes. You know, in today's world, the barrier to entry to put out music or content is very low. So naturally, there's an influx of questionable material. There's, you know, it's not good or bad, it just is makes it a little harder to sift through. But I've come to notice that um, there's a lot of very insightful people with very small followings, but they're, um, they're authentic followings. It isn't really always about big numbers. But I just think it's cool because you know, some of the things he says, they're just completely opposite from what, you know, the vast majority of people think today. And when, you know, when I started getting into the industry of technology about 20 years ago, one of my first gigs You know, they told us it was a two-year contract. Now, of course, any contract can be terminated terminated at any time, right? Same with a full-time employee. They told us two years. So, so excited, right? Kind of real big, exciting job. Young man out of school, right? And, um, you know, we get there and we're doing a bunch of spreadsheets and just a lot of copy and paste. And that's what, you know, there's like 40 guys, right? A couple girls, um, copy and paste, copy and paste. There's a lot of um, stress on the wrist. I started to get carpal tunnel. I looked at my team lead, he had a, uh, he had the type of a mouse pad where it had like a little wrist rest on it. So I got one of those, that helped. But my wrist was killing me. And so anyway, when I got done with my spreadsheets, you know, I went to, uh, to go walk around and chat with people like I normally do. And I went to this other team and um, I started learning things from them. I thought that was great. And I asked my team leads, I said, are you okay if I kind of cross train over here with these guys? They said, yeah, sure, go ahead. I was the only one that did that. And about, um, you know, I really think it was like a month or two months later, they called us into this conference room and they showed us all these charts, you know, told us how great we did. And I remember the guy that sat next to me in the cube next to me, he stands up and he says, does this mean there's no more work for us to do? And immediately the presentation was ended. They said, you know, please grab yourself a nice backpack from the table in the back. 
and uh, we get back to our desks and like 75% of the people got were, were laid off. So that was scary. It was kind of my first introduction to uh, corporate America. So now thankfully I, I wasn't in that round of cuts, but that put a fire under me. That, that lit a real fire under me. Cause I knew that, you know, in this world, survival of the fittest. And I also knew that at that time, you know, I knew that my mom was very sick and that one day she would become my responsibility. And I had to do the absolute best that I possibly could for myself and my family. It was a, it was a great experience. But as time went on, you know, I saw those patterns repeat over and over and over again. And each time, it strengthened me. In any case, thanks for joining me on my morning stroll today. I would like to encourage you to please vote. You can vote one free vote every 12 hours for my link for the Entrepreneurs of Impact so that we can get into Forbes magazine. And um, I would just really appreciate your support. And we are looking to partner up with like-minded people and companies and we're looking to uh, be incredibly efficient and competitive. So thank you for taking the time. Have a lovely day. Peace and love.